popping open some beer with friends usually does result in this kind of reaction. But today I am here to tell you about how beer was a delicious potion brewed by alleged witches. Beer was a staple in most homes in Europe. Brewing beer was a cheap way to use up and preserve the grain from the fields. It was like any other household chore, and because society at the time dictated that women take care of all housework, they would be the ones brewing the ale or beer as well. During the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, some women were enterprising enough to take this to market and sell it. Single women or widows would use it to make some money to run their homes. while married women would partner with their husbands to run beer businesses hops an essential ingredient to beer today was in all probability first added to the recipe by one such woman named hildegard von bingen who lived in modern day germany she's unofficially considered the patron saint of beer for making this discovery some 500 years before it became mainstream but what did witches have to do with all of this well when you think of a witch this is what usually pops into your head right a woman with a sharp pointy hat a broom a big cauldron and a black cat walking around somewhere Well, according to some, for the women boosters at the time, these were just regular tools of the trade. The cats were kept as pets to keep the rats away from the grain. The brooms were commonly hung outside the door to indicate that ale was available. The beer was brewed and then taken to the market in large cauldrons, and the women would wear these large pointy hats so that they could stand out in the crowd at the marketplace, and customers could identify them from a distance. Think of it like a signboard saying "Beer sold here." So how did these women who were only concerned with making beer become witches? Well the Reformation was a period in European history when women were put into tighter gender roles. They were meant to only take care of the home and rear children. It was also a time when witchcraft became a deadly punishable offense. Male brewers figured out that an effective way to simply get rid of the competition was by spreading vicious rumors that these female brewsters were all witches. The image of the female brewster began to be one that was quickly associated with witches. These women who used to make great beer were now severely punished for being successful at their work. Women who were labeled witches were treated as outcasts in their communities, put in prison and even killed. This slander campaign along with other economic factors pushed women out of the beer industry altogether and men took over. This was done as brewing beer was now seen as a time-consuming process that allowed these women more independence and took them away from child-rearing activities. In fact, some towns went so far as to make it illegal for women to sell beer because they didn't want a population of young women to become old spinsters. So while commercial beer today is a male dominated industry it was originally built by women who were so good at what they did that their competition couldn't handle it So tell us in the comments what your favorite beer is and we will get back to you with some fun facts about it And yes if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe The whole point of our channel is to ask compelling questions and delve into intriguing stories So let us know what you would want to watch in the comments below.